Hi, my name is Sanjay Narvekar. I'm a product manager in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team. I'll be showing you a demo of creating an Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. I have logged in into my console and uh, I will select this menu and then click on Autonomous Data Warehouse which takes me to the page which has a few instances already running. To create a new Oracle Autonomous Database, I'll click on Create Autonomous Database. I can change this compartment if I want to select another compartment for my demo. I will keep the same compartment for this demo and I'll rename the data warehouse to test data warehouse and stick to the same database name. Note that uh, this database name can be a maximum of 14 characters and I'll keep the workload type of data warehouse. For the deployment type, I will select serverless and I will go with the defaults of uh, OCPU count of one and storage of one terabyte. I'll keep auto scaling checked. So basically the autonomous data warehouse will automatically scale up the cores from one to a maximum of three cores if uh, the workload increases. And uh, once the workload reduces, it'll bring it back to one. So I'll keep this checked here. I don't I don't want this 19C preview mode, so I will skip that and I will provide a password. This is the password for the admin user. I will select a license type of BYOL. I want to quickly show you the advanced options that are available. Basically, this is uh, needed if you want to tag your database. I will not do any tagging at this point. I'll click on create autonomous database and I don't want to save the password here. So this process should take a few minutes to uh, complete and once the provisioning process completes, you'll see that this color changes to green and the state will say available. So right now it's showing provisioning and becomes available. Let me pause this uh, demo and uh, I will come back once this database has been provisioned. Welcome back. The autonomous data warehouse provisioning process has completed and uh, the database is now available. So once the data warehouse is provisioned, you can look at some of the details that uh, you provided during the provisioning process. You can see that auto scaling is enabled. The database was provisioned with the database 18C. And uh, since the database was just provisioned, you won't see any active backups for this database. And over here, you can see the metrics information and this kind of becomes very useful as you start using this database. You'll see the CPU utilization, storage utilization, the sessions information, running statements, queued statements, etc. To find information needed to connect to this test data warehouse, click on the DB connection button here. And uh, from here, you can download the client credentials or the wallet that uh, you can use for establishing connectivity from your computer to the autonomous data warehouse. And here are the TNS names that you can use for the connections. You can go with high, medium, or low. Click on close. And uh, clicking on performance hub gets you to this page here, which shows you the activities that are currently happening. You can look at Ash analytics as well as uh, SQL monitoring. Currently, there's not a lot going on in this database because I just provisioned it. But this is where you can look at uh, some of this information. I'll click close. And uh, as far as action goes, I can 
create clone i can access the access control list and this is where i can type the ip address or the cider block of uh, the whitelisted ips or cider range for uh, this autonomous data warehouse and uh, clicking on admin password lets me change the password i can click on update license type and always uh, change the license type for my deployment and i can also move this resource from the current compartment to a new compartment if i want to so that is uh, the list of things that you can do uh, in in uh, the actions link here and i can also stop the uh, autonomous data warehouse by clicking on stop clicking on scale up down gets me to this uh, pop up window this is where i can scale up the cpus and uh, also scale up the storage if i want to and if i want to turn off auto scaling i can always do that by unchecking this radio box here and uh, clicking on update but i will not do that for now so that's uh, scale up scale down process and then clicking on service console will take me to the service console for this particular autonomous data warehouse this is where i can see the storage utilization cpu utilization the running sql statements the number of ocpus allocated etc there's not much going on in this uh, database right now so you don't see any data to uh, display clicking on activity brings me to this page where i can monitor database activity the running statements the cpu utilization queued statements etc and clicking on monitor sql allows me to monitor the sql statements and look at uh, the plan information and stuff clicking on administration gives me this page where i can download the client credentials again and uh, if i want to i can set resource management rules for the high medium and low i can set the query time and also the amount of io and uh, change the cpu io shares as well if i want to and this is another place where i can set the administrator password and uh, this is where i can manage the machine learning users currently there is just one user which is the admin user but if i want to add additional ones i can click on create and uh, add new users i want to do that here and uh, the last tab i want to show you here is the development tab i'll click on this this is where i can access oracle apex as you know oracle apex is now included with the autonomous data warehouse and uh, autonomous transaction processing but um, this is where you would go to launch autonomous data warehouse apex functionality and it'll ask me for my admin password um, i i won't get into this because this can be uh, uh, quite a long demo if i get into apex so i'll skip that i'll also show you sql developer web so this is web based access for running queries against the autonomous database that uh, i just provision i won't save the password so i'll uncheck it so this is what it looks like it looks a lot like the sql developer um, desktop version but this is more of a web based version of a sql developer again i won't run any queries here and uh, this is where you can access your machine learning notebooks and uh, to do this you'll need the user id and password uh, i won't get into that but i just want to show you that uh, these are the links for doing all this activities and uh, clicking on download oracle instant client will let you download the oracle instant client which you can use for configuring your uh, compute instances to access autonomous data warehouse or uh, 
transaction processing. And finally, this is the RESTful services and uh, SODA information, which you'll need if you want to uh, develop applications with the uh, RESTful access to the autonomous database. So this is all of the service console that I wanted to show you. And uh, that's pretty much it for this demo. Thanks for watching this demo on provisioning autonomous data warehouse in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure.